finish him! <laughs> Fatality! Hey everybody, it's Master Aquatics once again, and I'm bringing you guys another video. It is currently 2 a.m. in the morning, Tuesday morning, up early, making a video for you guys. Welcome to the channel. So in this video, I just wanted to show you guys a live feeding of ghost shrimp to my angelfish. Now, I've made two videos prior to this of ghost shrimp feeding and the first one was actually pretty good the second one wasn't too good I guess people didn't like my energy or the audio in that video so I thought I'd make another one plus I figured since I am trying to put some size and weight on my angelfish I'm gonna try and feed them a lot of different foods and some form of live foods live foods are one of the best foods you can feed your fish um, it gets them active gets their hunting instincts um, sharpened I guess you could say um, as you can see they're chasing the ghost shrimp right away and that was a rookie mistake of me um, you don't want to put your ghost shrimp in there um, alive and functional and what I mean by that and as cruel as this sounds um, with ghost shrimp what you want to do is you want to kind of like injure their tail a little bit so they can't swim as fast because if they are able to maneuver um, as quickly as they can your angelfish uh, is more than likely not going to be able to catch it um, and that's what it, at least what I had to do for mine other fish they might be able to catch ghost shrimp no problem um, but as you can see here uh, this ghost shrimp I was able to injure it before putting it in the tank and Cheddar Bob managed to get a hold of this ghost shrimp. Uh, Cheddar Bob, he, he's pretty big. He's one of the biggest angels that I have, but unfortunately he wasn't able to swallow that ghost shrimp whole. He did have it in its in his mouth for quite some time. Uh, I guess just sucking on it like a lollipop. And eventually he, he does end up spitting it out. I ended up getting four ghost shrimp because in the past I've gotten six or eight or 10 and my angelfish would not eat them but I decided to try and feed them live ghost shrimp again because they have gotten much bigger as you can see Cheddar Bob he has gotten extremely huge like he's just he's really big he's been getting a lot of size and I think that's because of all the food that I've been putting in there I've been putting a lot more food in there you know lots of blood worms lots of flakes uh, some live food every now and then and then recently I just started giving them krill although krill is just as big as a ghost shrimp so when I do feed them the krill I have to cut them up into smaller pieces and I do have a video on that I'll be sure to put that in the description um, I Philippine blue they were not too interested in the uh, ghost shrimp at all as you can see <laughs> that female just went crazy I um, actually put that ghost shrimp on top of her eggs and what she did was she grabbed it and immediately threw it across the tank she doesn't want that thing nowhere near her eggs um, she didn't really want to eat it at all she wasn't focused on eating the ghost shrimp at all she was just mainly wanting the ghost shrimp away from the eggs even though the ghost shrimp was dead um, as you can see cheddar bob he's still has the ghost shrimp in his mouth um, and like I said he does have it in there for quite some time I don't think he manages to swallow it although I did have some angelfish in this tank that was able to eat the ghost shrimp um, one of the new angelfish that I got from angels plus managed to eat one of the ghost shrimps as you saw in the beginning of the video uh, and hopefully you guys like that edit um, if you guys do enjoy you know small little edits like that let me know so that way I can try putting them more into my videos so in this clip here we see red he's going after the ghost shrimp uh, he does this for quite some time and then he ends up losing it in that forest of wisteria um, and keep in mind the Cory cats are back there so you know they got a, a piece of the action um, again, Cheddar Bob still sucking on his ghost shrimp uh, like a lollipop. 
uh, and I don't think he is letting go of that, but like I said, he doesn't eat it. Uh, new angelfish here from Angels Plus, He's sparring with the Philippine Blue over the ghost shrimp. Uh, Cheddar Bob gets another ghost shrimp. Uh, I'm not sure how many clips of Cheddar Bob I have in here of him eating some of the ghost shrimp. <laughs> he was one of the main ones that participated in the ghost shrimp eating event. Um, as I predicted, um, I tried giving ghost shrimp to the angelfish pair that I have in the 29 gallon tank. Uh, the female, which is the white one, was not interested in the ghost shrimp at all. I don't think she saw it as a food source. Uh, she probably saw it more as a threat. Uh, the male, on the other hand, which is the one that you're seeing right now, uh, seemed like he was a little confused at first. He wasn't sure if it was friendly, if it was harmless, if it was harmful. Um, he wasn't sure if he was going to put it in its mouth until at the very end he decided to take the risk. And just like Cheddar Bob, he keeps the ghost shrimp in his mouth for quite some time until spitting it out and leaving nothing but the head. Um, I'm not sure if I filmed that, but that is what happened. Um, and it looks like he's very happy. I also threw in some flakes afterwards, so that way they don't just live off the nutrition of just the ghost shrimp. They also get other nutrients as well. You know, I gotta say, uh, by the way, my angelfish pair that you're watching right now, uh, the fry that they have with them were just free swimming not too long ago, and I'm actually quite shocked because they still haven't eaten their fry yet, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, again, this is my new angelfish from Angels Plus. He is still eating that ghost shrimp, and that's what angelfish tend to do. Um, they'll hold on to the ghost shrimp for quite some time. Uh, what they'll do is they'll hold on to them for minutes until they are able to either swallow the whole thing or not swallow it and just spit it out and eat what they can. Um, I also, on top of the ghost shrimp feeding, I throw in some blood worms. Somebody in the comment section said that it was a really good idea to just throw the cube in there instead of defrosting it in warm water and then just putting the blood worms through the aquarium uh, one bit at a time. I'd rather just throw the cube in there from now on because then they'll just go after it like it's just a small patch of ground beef. I tried hand feeding them here uh, but they did not go for it. They did not like my hand so as soon as I took my hand out they went ahead and went for it um, which I thought was really cool. These guys can eat. They ate go shrimp they ate one batch of or one cube of blood worms and then they're eating a second cube of red blood worms i mean these fish can eat i'm just surprised they're not bigger than what they are for right now um currently um they do they do get big they are getting pretty big i mean but cheddar bob he's he's definitely the one that's showing the most growth um pretty soon he'll be bigger than the uh philippine blue uh right now that you see trying to steal the food away from him i'm pretty sure he is going to outgrow the philippine blue and get bigger and one day he's going to steal that philippine blues female i have no doubt about it um, with the way that he's eating and growing and getting bigger and rounder and his fins are getting a lot longer he's definitely going to be the king of this aquarium um, so after this I don't really do anything I don't feed them anything um, and I don't have to worry about going in there and cleaning up uneaten foods because with the amount of fish that I have in there, they they all scavenge and eat the food that doesn't get eaten by the angelfish. My Garamis are part of the cleanup crew. I also have my Cory Cats, although they're not really that active. They mainly like to hide in the plants and in the bushes, but when they see something, they'll eat it. I also wanted to talk about how my 10 gallon tank is doing. So my 10 gallon tank is doing just fine. Uh, it is still a work in progress, but I finally managed to get a sponge 
a filter in there so my water is going to be a little bit cleaner from now on it's definitely going to help uh, before that I was actually using this tank without a sponge filter or any type of filter and I was cleaning out the water almost every day um, it wasn't too bad because it's a 10 gallon tank uh, it doesn't take long to empty out five gallons of water from a 10 gallon tank and it didn't take that long to put water back in it was just the consistency that was required that was kind of annoying but I do what I have to do I'm trying to raise multiple batches and that's what I'm going to do so I'm gonna make sure that I'm successful at it and that I do that um, but anyways that's pretty much the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it my name is Master Aquatic. See you in the next one. Bye.